Be flagging more than snow. Yeah, because Nadeo introduced it properly. Yeah. And not like with uh, snow car where they said, Ha! Here you have a buggy car that you cannot control. Good luck, have fun. And also a bad 50 map campaign. <laughs> 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 That's literally how it was. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> Sad to say. Mango. Is that really? Mango? Nah, that's not really. Um, uh, nah, there is a super nah. sharp turn. Oh, there's an ice turn. Ach du Kage, a mixed map with an ice turn. Interesting. Hell yeah. That it, is rare. It's like one, and there's also like this ice bug slide thingy. Now where's the start? Ah, that's not a rally car map. Who kept here? Oh my god, yeah, there's a dirt ice soup. Ach du Kacke, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah lucky do we have practice from that for Machi Monday? Indeed. Yeah. At least one of us made it yesterday. No. He also deserved it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Three times in the finals, kinda sick. Yeah. This is like a very advanced mixed map. But like the normal things where you have one slide and then a little bit dirt, a little bit grass. There's some water, ice. Uy, uy, uy. Hello. 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 Oh, it's snow. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, also quite tricky with the gears. Very interesting map though. Yeah. Definitely not boring. And you also ice slide to finish. You don't need to exit the ice slide, just jump to the finish. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I think by now. Oh god. Ah, you can jump at the exit of the first sausage. That's not so nice. <laughs> yes. One slightly tricky uh, trick gear, okay, definitely. Also after so much into dirt. Yeah, gears are not super free. If the map would have still been a little bit longer, that would have been perfect. A bit short maybe. Like 10 seconds longer and really cool perfect mix map. I wonder also saying on my chat, this is about as mixed as it gets. True. Yeah. Ah, we now we need wood. Use wood, guys. Wood is good. I mean, I don't need that ice slide at the ending, but the rest <laughs> is fun. Yeah, but for an ice slide on a mixed map, this is like as good as you can build it, to be honest. Okay. Seems like it might be simple at the end of the day the map. No. I feel like the lines are pretty clear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but first, but outside is not so easy. Here in this one dirt in like 26 seconds. Yeah, the GPS keeps it. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, that's <laughs> I should do that once. 
Okay. How does the GPS keep it? I don't know how, but I'm not too sure. I yet. think it does. So far, I'm also not even close to keeping the gear, to be honest. I just kept it. Very nice flex. Gotta go extra wide, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I did. Chris is just better. Yeah, seems like. Yeah, look at the times. I'm uh, not good. Mm -hmm. Ah, the first dot outside you can do small drift cancel at the exit. Oh no. I won't. Ah no, I also kept the gear here, yeah. Is it even worth it? So far outside there. That's a good question. Also, the last ice, it's so important to go tight at the exit. Super easy to go to white there. Is the end cuttable on the grass? I thought about it as well, but don't think so. Yeah, man, that ice slide just will kill so many runs for me. Yeah. Point twenty six, not gonna be safe. Gonna need like close to a thirty nine here. Yeah. Didn't think people would beat the GPS time so quickly. It's also so important at the ending transition, like near the ending, the transition from the grass to the road that you stay full inside at the pole and keep the speed. Actually such a time save. Yeah. I can easily drive us up here. I can gain a lot in the second half. The first half is sadly like almost irrelevant, I feel like. Also, the first outside, it doesn't really Just matter. Just survive. If you go, like, yeah. I don't know if you can do anything in the third suit, but. 
Not one of those where brake tapping really does anything. No, you just you don't have enough ice tires there. I don't know if you can get enough ice tires if you pull left, but then like you drive over snow, so it's not really worth it, I think. We actually keep the gear in our own. Now I didn't, and I improved. I drove point zero eight. I don't think you need to keep it, to be honest. It might be better to go inside and then maybe drift cancel or something with the third gear or whatever. I mean, the speed equalizes either way after the tra grass transition. You don't really, you cannot really do anything with the exit speed. I feel like. I don't actually gain that much in that end, I don't know. Big confused with her. But I can lose a lot in the end. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm failing to do it outside. Right. I don't know if my time is safe to be honest. Can zero it? Uh, one percent. I think there's barely any improvements. Oh my god, I touched the dirt outside four times in a row now. Or three times at least. <laughs> oh, I can either judge this too. I can't do it anymore at all. Fast enough. Okay, I could gain a lot of that. I gained two tenths in the last ice slide actually. Mm. Earlier I respawned a bunch of times, the best I could gain was 500. Now on a run I gained two tenths. Okay, I also just gained point two. Interestingly, my run is with a crash. <laughs> I did crash actually in my run. Mm -hmm. It's the smallest crash ever after the dirt zoom, obviously, but like. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. I did crash. It's a crash. Okay. Now as well. Yeah, it looks like point two in the end. Just skill issue. Okay, keeping the gear as fast as it is. Oh, good ending. Okay, point eight here. Nice. Yeah, it's a little bit but faster, but it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. And then you also don't have to worry about mostly getting the upper gear clean again. It's really mostly about the ice. So. Oh. The end. Super inside. And the entry. Yeah, it's always like that. Mixed map with the ice. Yeah. Yeah, might happen in Redoom. But I'm too scared to do a drift cancel there because if I would probably lose the gear. And that would not be good, I can guarantee you that.
Cooking Guys. Ich wünsche mir Luck vor die Ending. Good luck. Jo. Was helpful. 64. Noise. First place snipe, guys. Was dann die was point 15 ahead in the start. Yeah. Oh. I touched something and just got a penalty. Without really touching. It's always oh, annoying. No. Yeah. Alright, cannot improve again. Kleine No-Slide? Ach ja. If you go, nah, I don't, I don't think, like, definitely not too easy. Uh, it's a point ten, so the point zero eight was enough. Yeah, barely. Would have been very close though. Yeah, <laughs> you said easily. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> soon. No. That's true. Alright. I mean, probably it's actually over ten positions though. <laughs> it's just two hundreds. Yeah. Who knows? Probably it's quite a few. <laughs> I mean, you also are only 0.13 away. Yeah, that was like what 20 or something. Yeah. Hmm. All right, guys. Went super inside there. Yeah. Like, there's literally no difference between the top five and myself. Like, until the, until like 20 seconds in, after mm. the ice. There's literally no difference. How do you gain the, so much in the end? I suppose we do no Oh here. wait, I lost my key. I lost the gear in my PB. Oh. Okay, that <laughs> was a bit of time. I didn't even notice. Where? I forgot about it. In the dirt? Yeah, or? In the dirt. Yeah. Okay. Even. Like you kept the gear with that inside line. That's really good. Was probably very close to losing it though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't cut the ice lap, it's not faster. <laughs> it's not much slower though, you lose only lose one second. And Nova lost it on purpose and then went into no slide, and it's about the same. Okay, but harder. Yeah. Maybe more consistent, but yeah, harder. Hmm. Yeah, keeping the gear lost or losing that gear cost me two ten. Yeah. Yeah. 97, this is close. It's not so nice. <laughs> hmm, okay. Is this the one? Yes, it is. The one and only division the one. <laughs> Wretched. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do here, guys. Been a while since we saw Div 2, yeah. I mean, if I am like, my cup of the day performance itself is not that consistent. Like sometimes I have phases where I'm really good at KO and I get like far every single time. And sometimes I troll early almost all the time. But I'm almost always Div 1. I mean, from the normal cup of the days, it's usually only ice or full speed that can stop me. That's like still difficult because of skill issue, but. And like normal maps, usually I always make it. I'm definitely better at the time attack qualifying overall than at uh, knockout. I feel like. Yeah, hunter. Not a consistent player, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, not really a hunter, but I'm like, I'm actually really good at setting like good times fast. Like I'm not really good at hunting the map for a really long time and setting like super fast times. But getting like pretty good times fast, I'm like really good at it. But sadly, that doesn't help for anything. <laughs> I guess except for getting the volume cup of the day, maybe. And other yeah. than that, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm good at that as well. But if you consider five minutes, not fifteen minutes, as quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for that, for thing. those like super small periods of time, it's like depends. But like fifteen or like twenty or whatever, 
Das finde ich gut für mich. Point 8 with a gear drop? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's kind of equal. I didn't do the drift cancel though, but... I mean, Respo's good, so... No. I think in Cup of the Day I'm also, or like in general, in knockouts lately, I do the mistake of like always thinking about my pace. Like during the entire knockout, I all, I'm never really thinking about surviving super long, I'm mostly just thinking about winning it. Like thinking like, oh yeah, I need to drive these kind of times consistently in order to have a chance at winning. So I often uh, risk unnecessarily just to get like consistently good at the fast times, but then go out before I really need them. It's like kind of like... That's also what I was doing in Magic Monday, kind of. <laughs> Should just focus more on surviving in the early rounds and then... Like only late try to get faster or something. Or like just let it happen automatically. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it depends always. In Magic Monday you can kind of risk the first couple of rounds and you will always still survive. Yeah. yeah, in Magic Monday, I like the last five or so that I played, I was like... If you take a look at the first, like let's say... 14 out of 23 rounds or so if you would give like points to the average position and stuff I was probably at least top three in average position on like every single map So I was like really fast and also pretty consistent But then at some point I just do like one mistake and then it's just with this yeah. That's not so good <laughs> But you're going through exactly what I went through last time like I had the exact same thing oh. I've worked eventually But I literally had the same thing. I also had that many podiums, I think. Second place, multiple third places. I mean, I only had one second place yet, but three third places. Yeah. Like, I could win on, like, every single map, to be honest. The only one where I really was bad at was the one you won. Because I just didn't understand. Mm. I didn't do the start card, and I didn't understand the, the end card as well. <laughs> like, that was the only map I was really bad at. On all of the other ones, even on the one where Scandia won, which was, like, a giga troll map. Um, yeah, even there I was third. I was then a bit too slow, but uh, I was consistent at least. Like all of the other ones, I was like fast and consistent, but I just trolled at some point and yeah. I also just trolled. Happens the best to the best of us. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Somehow clip in the small hole a little bit. Oh my god, I might be out. I didn't get the gear, ah. yeah, I'm probably out. I had complete lower gear shenanigans in the ending. Oh, I'm in actually. Okay, so many people failed. Holy moly. Yeah, I was gonna say what you were talking about earlier. Yeah, like I had like <laughs> the gear on shenanigans. I touched inside at the dirt. Lost the gear, then I didn't get the fourth gear back, then I got it right before the ramp transition, but then I lost it again in the grass and touched inside because I suddenly dropped like half of my speed. And then I had to do third gear into the last ice slide. <laughs> like cheaper. Uh, yeah. Am I dominating this Turkey, map? That's Definitely not good. Not. Yeah, so don't crash. <laughs> in that part. Knock out coach Granadi, don't crash. Always would improve. Okay, here at the inside, I touched the black things. I really not that nice. I also like the style that he that Marius requested for Machi. Yeah, like I was hoping he does Risky something and good. Safe, but yeah. yeah. But safe has to be has to has to have more chances of winning. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he just wants the technical yeah, that is opportunities. something here. so goddamn difficult to build. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It is, I don't think Machi yeah, will. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Within half an hour, I good luck. Like, don't think anyone could build something really properly there. Yeah. But at least indeed, it's not indeed. RPG. Yeah. Although the RPG maps were kind of good all the time. To drive, but yeah, still. because it wasn't RPG, it was yeah, more like really. I don't know, something else, <laughs> yeah, like weird obstacle shenanigans with some gimmick. And backslide, and yeah, yeah, or yeah. Dirt too, or yeah, 
But at least I learned on the last two maps, like even though I'm not that good on backsliding and the third souping things in theory, I was still pretty good on the maps. My endings are really good. I gained point two on first place. No ratchet. <laughs> Uh, wait, no, that's not you. Never mind. I just saw a blue tag and a G at the start of the name and thought, oh yeah, that's you then, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Intax saying he doesn't want to use brain cells on Trigmania maps when he maps four, 500 IQ transitions. Yeah. <laughs> True. Intax is a fourth gear grass enjoyer. Because even my toaster could play these maps in a good way. Are you also point two behind? Like, what are people doing in the start? Uh, probably. No. <laughs> point four behind. But I'm not really risking the dirt right now. Yeah, but I'm going to be behind before the dirt, that's the thing. <laughs> Then I'm gaining it again, my, end, my second half is apparently really good now. I almost failed it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I like after the dirt outside, I also don't lose any time, really. Hmm. But or at least in this round, I didn't lose any time. No. Yeah. Which is do good, people... I guess, because that's usually the harder part. Did the records go full outside, or what did they do? Where? Oh, or the it... outside dirt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm scared of that. It's so weird to judge the grip there, because you also have a small road part. <laughs> Yeah, Doesn't like really I'm so often crashing in the chicane after that. Yeah, that's also scary. Because it, like it bends inside, kinda. Yeah, often in the third outside, I'm not really going full outside, I just go like at the outside, the exit sort of. I'm already point fifty. So now right because now. I said I crash at the exit of it, I had to crash at the, en at the entry, of course, just to prove a yeah. point. <laughs> uh, it's point proven, Lois. As long as you survive, it was worth it. I mean, I crash, but then instant no side abuse and all good. Nice, yeah, proud of you. Oh my god, I almost touched outside. Okay, 64 by Odats. Damn, that's fast. That's lingo, I guess. Ah, yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of interesting. Look, you, uh, you saw on the left, you saw Bings, Sings, and then you saw in orange, uh, you saw Dennis. And all had like a double S at the ending, or like at least two. <laughs> Look kind of funny. Granats, yeah. Lars, Chris. Yeah, you would think that should be. So Wait, yeah, interesting. Uh, you would think that would be something rare, but like somehow, TM community quite often. Yeah. Oh my god. Whew, that was almost close. I had to release it. Yeah, event. close round. I was too inside. Like I would have clipped. I was a bit scared of sliding out then. Hmm. So if you go to inside and you would clip on the inside, it's a bit scary. Oh. I really like this map though. Like it's a nice different kind of mixed map. Like a bit more mixed than other mixed maps. <laughs> that makes any sense. Oh. Yeah. Little bit of everything. I also like it except for the ending, but that's uh, just a skill issue. And I'm also not the biggest fan of ice slides, but I would say if you build an ice slide into a mix map, then you cannot really do yeah. it much better than this, I guess. Like an orange in the store, I think. It depends, like, stop.
That's so close though. Like I was like about three, four times behind and almost red. Like yeah. at, before the ice slide, you know? Yeah. As an ice hater, this ice slide is completely fine to me. Yeah, I'm kinda same. <laughs> it's very easy as well. Yeah, it's a bit tricky because you have to break a little bit more to go tight in the ending, but also the fact that you like jump into the finish is definitely helping the non-ice abusers. Yeah. Okay, I think I go to white in the first sausage. I'm literally point thirteen behind and almost last in the first checkpoint. <laughs> but I'm scared to jump the into the side. Like the part before the ice slide is probably more important than the ice slide itself. I think you Getting catch back up, Kanadi, because that checkpoint is then like you get the checkpoint to the different spot, maybe. Yeah, it's probably definitely a bit inflated. Like, yeah, I don't think that's bad what you do. I saw it in the in the world records. Like you went more outside, you had the checkpoint later, point. but then you you are more inside on the grass, you know. Mm. So it's pays off, I think. No, I see. Okay, Bing's point five. That's pretty fast. And hello, Marius. Where are you today, Marius? Some Easter shenanigans? No, it's another <laughs> depressed uh, episode <laughs> of <laughs> Deutsche Bahn. Not working. Uh, yeah. yeah. F. Did you say it on our Discord or what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Deutsche Bahn, ladies and gentlemen. I've released like three times. <laughs> Okay, point 0.4, yeah, why not? What are those improvements? Kind of good end as well. Point 0.4, eh? Yeah. I'm fourth and I'm point 0.4 behind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, sort of dangerous so one coming up now. No way. If I'm out, I'm gonna... Okay. Once again, guys, I don't think I have to admit that ice is shit. I slid out in the very exit. I didn't get into the finish. Yeah, like, bro, like, come on. Like, how, like, how should I not hate ice when stuff like this happens? How should I like ice? Like, bruder. I mean, I had to do one giga tiny release. I probably didn't have to do it in the ending. But I did it, because I didn't want to clip the edge at the exit. Then I didn't slide out immediately, it looked fine. And then I slid out like right before you jump into the finish. Yeah! Like one quarter of a block and then I just didn't get into oh, the finish. Finally. Oh my god. Ach oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like, like, I don't know, eh. I don't even know what to say to this. Of course it's the ice point. Ach man. Nah, two people are already quite a bit behind. Like point five. Sounds. Sounds strange, honestly. Like, I slid out, or I had to release that once as well, but it was fine then. Yeah, I oh don't know why God. I slid out. Like, ice. Like, the, <laughs> then people wonder why I dislike ice so much. Like, oh my God, okay, someone. Oh my God, what is this round? Yeah. yeah. Two PBs in a row. <laughs> Two people full died. I don't know how that was still a PB. Oh my God. I really want to get over my, my, my knockout, my current knockout bane. But it's just like always something happens. And like the most stupid things you can think of. Holy moly. Incredible. 
But I don't. I, I really don't understand why I slid out there. Like I, I know it of course that when you release in an ice slide and you have a big angle and you, you know, you release, then you slide out. Of course, everybody knows that. But what was this now? How did I slide out there? I need an ice Andy to investigate because that makes no sense. Maybe he released exactly into the danger wedge or something. Oh my god, uh, that's a problem. It's fine, there are two people behind. Hendo and Spemi, you have point 0.4, you also have another one behind. Just make it normal, to be honest. Good. Uh, oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, Hendo. Where's Hendo going? Hendo's going so far outside. Okay, Tren is out. Oh my god, Trondas and Hendo is actually in. Uh, oh, what, what is this? <laughs> Cheapers. It's spam is also always lucky. Always. In a couple of days lately. Ach ja, ach ja, ach ja. Last right now, I mean, people are not that far away. Oh, you oh, even last though. This should be PP, I would think. No, no, no. I mean, that was a good ending, Lars. Noise. And one. Hmm. I mean, the star was definitely yeah, not so good. good. <laughs> like, I went so insane outside, and I, I, I noticed I was only seventh for some reason. Like, that was the best outside turn I've ever done in my life, as I, I thought. Yeah. I don't know. But I lost too much speed and dropped the gear. Thing. But uh, how do you. Well, huh? But yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I mean, but usually you don't slide out. I won't... Like, wouldn't wouldn't you lose RPM and lose the gear because of that? I don't know, but I also cannot remember being like over angled. And usually you don't slide out when you're not over angled. Like, it really made no sense to me. <laughs> yeah, Gosh, Bemi is also not uh, very lucky in chaos. Also, always has like a fuck up at some point. I don't know how some people are doing that. that they always survive. Like Scrappy, for example. I know. It's crazy to me. I mean, it used to be the same for me. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I mean, the last one I literally said that Spam is always lucky. Like, I've yeah. seen him get saved quite often recently, but I mean, I don't know, he has no. more fuck ups than I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, Nitro Fiend. Really bad eyes. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, one is. It's one oh, okay, I'm safe. Huh. I thought I would go out because of that. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, I got worse in KOs over the time, I feel like. When you look at compare with, like, two years ago. But overall, I definitely got better at the game. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. Like you're one of those players now where you know how fast you can go, and that's influencing, I guess. Yeah, maybe it's just uh, you you overplayed no knockouts, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe cool. Many of them. Yeah, but I mean, Scrappy's also playing like 10 million of them. <laughs> it's not really getting worse. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, the player base has, of course, but also improved a lot. And the maps have gotten also different and stuff. Of course, also something to watch out for. You can clearly tell with Scrappy that he's saving more than the, you, though. Yeah, but I, I did fully save this KO. Like, but and then the ending, I had to do one small release, and then I had to have the weirdest slide out ever. Like, I mean, it not it didn't die because I risked. Like, it would have been risky to to commit for the ice slide and fail because of that. But it was like the opposite for me. I need to watch the clip again. Another PV. And I only played I occasionally, you won a lot. Though. I mean, at the very beginning of Cup of the Day, like half a year, like when I started streaming, I also played like almost every single one. And that's why I collected like the most kind of wins, you know? I don't know. <laughs> that's also the annoying thing about knockouts, because like every time I fail something, I immediately want to try to try it again and improve, you know? But in knockouts, you cannot yeah, do it. You can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Knockout is just like, na na na, <laughs> tomorrow maybe. Then I have the next, uh, the same thing tomorrow, and then I'll be like, hmm. <laughs> oh, got down. Okay, good round so far. Scary. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, I know. Last one I PB'd, so. 
Coco Lars. Yeah. <laughs> don't think I'm PBing. <laughs> I don't uh, think so either. Maybe a slide out? Come on, for Lars! Yes! <gasps> Wait, really? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> no way! No way! Wow. No okay. fucking way! <laughs> And Bro, we have how our winner. Are, yeah, come on, like how yeah. are you so lucky? And I'm unlucky as fuck. What do you mean? That's one time. Yeah, okay, okay, okay to be fair, yeah. <laughs> it's the first but crush like, I've done. How did Hendo slide out now? Like, yeah. man, like, like sometimes I wanna like ice, but then ice is doing stuff like this, and then I'm really having a hard time enjoying ice. Like sometimes I really f feel bad about how how much I shit talk ice sometimes. <laughs> like, but then stuff like this happens, and I ask myself, isn't it justified? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's crazy. Okay, down and Jan, like a bit behind, but still somewhat close. Yeah, you have point two roughly. Not doing that transition good anymore. It's tough. Yeah. But I definitely try to drive the ice line away that you never have to release, like, holy moly. She's yeah. like, even if you do like a safe release, where you would think with our current nice uh, ice knowledge, it's safe, it's just not. <laughs> yeah, it depends sometimes with the release. You can also like release a lot and then have it safe. I don't know. I have kind of, I feel like I have a feeling for those releases. Yeah. I, I release yeah. actually quite often in ice slides. Yeah. And I release especially to make the car more stable quite often. But then still sometimes happens, of course, but... Like, I release a lot of ice slides. No, I mean, I definitely have the basic feeling of, like, when you definitely don't want to slide out, uh, when you definitely don't want to release. But, yeah. hmm. I mean, it also oh God, depends on it. how you release, I think. Yeah. And point one behind. Using the gear then, ah, it's not the really greatest. Round. You need to hope, kind of. Point two. Yeah. Maybe slide out for Lars again? Oh, I could have touched the insert, but sadly they also have. That's a good round though. Uh, they had a bad round now. No. Oh yeah, 95 so pretty fourth. good. Pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Also, Dries Nader, thanks for the four month resub. No grip is underrated? Yeah, I mean, that's also something I said for like two years already. I want to test one thing. <laughs> and now I exactly don't have time for that, I think. Ah. <laughs> Okay, let's see who's gonna win it. Bing's equal for Yeah. Yeah, Bing's also playing a lot. Bing, Bing's is playing like every cup of the day lately. Also doing really good. Oh my god, Jan. What the fuck was that line? <laughs> Bing's also a very interesting line. And Ranging Spaceman, thanks for the cure one stop. Thank you very much. Okay, good round here. Everybody's sort of equal. Equal's a bit behind. Can you maybe catch up with a good line? Nope. Oh my god, Jan almost two for instant. Yeah, that was a really good round. Good race. Good race, no. good luck. Jan versus Binks. Can Jan defeat the T and Real player? White Japanese club deck for Binks. Um, that is a, probably a club that uh, some Frenchies use for practicing um, Ascension and Team Real. <laughs> Because it used to be a thing that you I could search for um, search for uh, the tags of clubs on Trackmania IO, and then you could get info about uh, even if the club was private about uh, uh, PPs on maps and shit like this on private maps. But when you have this kind of tag, you cannot really find it that easily, at least. <laughs> so it was a strat for some time to just have like some cryptic club tag to hide your PPs better. And I thought they are just fan of uh, some kind of Asian culture. Mm, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, Bing's actually point thirteen behind. Can Yan defeat the Team JL player? That would be a big win for him. And that is close, but Yan actually keeping it up. GG, man. Yeah. Sick. Oh, nice. nice. Sick. Definitely the, the underdog in the match, but he made it. Nice. Point seven, also really good time. Good focus, Yan guy. Wait, that was the first win for Yan? Wait, really? What? Okay, that is pretty sick against Bing's. That's not easy. GG then. Nice. Alright, I'm quickly gonna watch the world record and then I'm gonna investigate my slide out because I wanna understand it. Yeah, I'm out. Bye bye. Yo, bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Are you streaming today, Lars? Oh, okay, he just left. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he said uh, see you to, to Chris or to me. <laughs>
Yeah, hello guys. Alright, you're probably just a good run here by Lingo Girl. <coughs> Everything clean, I guess. Investigation result, ice is bad. Link went for the lower gear no slide line, okay. Yeah, a lot of speed here, that was like perfect. Inside here and staying full inside all the way, kinda. Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright guys, let me open my own VOD. Ach Mensch, uh, there's a cool mixed map, I really like it, I even like the ice and I also get the ice pretty good consistently. And then this one thing happens, like I really wanna get good at KOs again. Like the last two to three weeks, it was really bad all the time. But uh, it's just always stuff like this happening. <laughs> like Buddha. Alright. Let's see. Where was it? A bit later. Too late. Too late. Too late. Yeah, here. Alright. Let's investigate, guys. So, we look at the inputs. I have to do one giga quick release here. Look. Ping. Small one. And then I slide out like this. Like, holy moly. Eh? Oh, no. I mean, okay, the release was definitely unnecessary. I could have committed. But I did the release to save. I did to save it to not go over the edge, and I, okay, I did slide out kinda immediately. Oh my god, uh... I assume you don't play the Formula E stuff? I will play all of the Formula E stuff. See him. Yeah, I should've just committed, uh... I went out because I saved. But... I mean, I did drop the gear, yeah, but like... I still don't understand that I, like... I mean, I, okay, I do understand it, but I just don't like it, the fact that I slide out because of stuff like this. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, it was a skill issue, but it's just so punishing, eh? I mean, it was also just a really small slide out. I was slightly over 90 degree, like, that's a really unlucky slide out, like, holy moly. Did I train? There is, a, You cannot train yet, Sion. There is nothing to train. The map is coming out on Saturday. Practicing the training map doesn't really help you for anything, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, definitely my own fault with the uh, with the slide out. But I think we can all also agree that it was really unlucky. Like, sliding out because of a thing like this is really just unfortunate. Like, yeah, my own fault, but really also just unlucky. I don't know. What a shame. Right. Let's see what we can do. I should have also, I could have also practiced campaign instead. But I mean, why not a little bit of cup of the morning? In any case, I go out early, I can, uh, yeah, I can still practice some campaign. I'm gonna pop some tags on the 20 dollars in my fucking Alright, solid first try, 81. We take it. Oh, a Yami guy is playing. Yami Chan, type 1. Ooh. Since when do I stream at this time? Uh, usually I don't. Only when I. Uh, sometimes I stream in the early hours. In case I don't have time to stream in the evening, or, as in case of today, there's like a tournament in the morning or something. And today, in one hour, <laughs> I will play the Trickmania Seasonal Country Championship. So I, uh, yeah, since I wanna stream my POV, I started to stream early and draw. That could be uh, quite a PB to be honest. Risk the ending, risk the ending. Wah! Uh, 52! That's pretty good. That's like top 10 world almost, no? That was pretty good. Ping, eh. What was world record? 37? Yeah, not that far away. Oh. Ooh. 
Top 14, okay, okay. That could already be the first place in the seeding secured. Not bad. Already a PB. Can I guy this not campaign? Yeah, Sour Gorf again. Yeah, I already played campaign, don't worry. I will also have time to play campaign later. Boah, another PB? Another PB? Another PB? Another PB? Peng 44! Zack! Boah, actually clean. That is like definitely top 10 world. <laughs> yeah, let's go guys. Wait, what place is that? It must be like top 5 or so, no? Top 5, yeah, hello guys. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Okay, I don't think I will improve that again. <laughs> Unlikely. Yeah. Imagine I would be as good in KO as I'm in time attack lately. At least time attack in... Uh oh, another PB? Hmm? Okay, maybe not. I wonder if that lower gear strat is really faster. I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. It feels a bit weird. Not a fan of it. Hmm. Anyway. I always feel like the seeding in time attack is just... Uh, the seeding in Cup of the Morning is just like super long. Like when you know the map already, it feels like 15 minutes of not doing anything. <laughs> But today is also Saturday, we should have a lot of Cup of the Morning players. 287, is that a lot or is that Zodiac? I have no idea, last time I played Cup of the Morning was probably 2023. I think Cup of the Night still has more players, right? It's so easy to touch that at the inside. You don't lose that much, but... Yeah, okay. <laughs> can still drive 0.5 of the inside touch. <laughs> but not if you go for upper gear line and then you get lower gear. That is not so good. Not gonna lie. But I mean, like this was a run with two mistakes and I still drive 0.8. I think I am quite good on this map, guys. Looks fine. Oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But we're playing ruhig, as always, guys. It'd be funny if I would beat the world record now. True Noob wouldn't uh, find it that funny, but I would. But I don't really think I can gain in my ending. My ending was honestly uh, kind of perfect. I was like, I was like so inside, and I kept lower gear, uh, upper gear. Like, how would I get that even better? The ice line also was like really inside. <gasps> oh, Ooh. still an 81. <laughs> Good to know that you can hit that. Know that before. Where am I going? Okay, that's definitely not worth to go so far outside. Like, I literally overjumped the landing. Look how much I lost. You don't want to go more inside there. Ah, look at this. The Timmy's guy is also playing. Timmy's is playing for Netherlands too. So we're gonna play against him in our uh, first TSCC match later. <laughs> he also is like, yeah, practicing for the tournament. Nah, cup of the morning? Hell yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, I need to not hit that nipple there. Okay, let's just bring the Copen timer home. Never mind. Okay, that's plastic. Good to know. So, don't want to hit that. Hmm, okay. 
He also woke up one hour earlier, maybe. <laughs> maybe. To be fair, you had three maps. Yeah, the thing is, like, of course, it's more of a... I mean, it's a try-hard tournament, sort of. But there's also, like, nothing to win or anything. Like, it's just for fun. So no one's gonna put, like, some extra time in only for this tournament. Like, of course, people that already played the campaign and that played matchmaking are having, like, an advantage. And they practiced, of course. But no one is gonna put, like... An immense amount of hours just into this tournament alone, you know? Oh. Yeah, there's no way I'm improving my time again, guys. There is Norway. This thing's this part like really good in my PB. I don't really know how, but I just had a really good. Yeah, Gyodon, hello guys. I love Gyodons. <laughs> hmm, okay. Yeah. WR is free here? Uh, na ja, nee. I mean, it's not too hard to beat, I guess. If I got close to it by 07. Without any like any any extra grind or something, I guess for a really good player it wouldn't be that hard to to improve. But yeah, also not easy, of course. Now you can see like track of the day world records are like equally as strong as uh, as campaign world records on day one. And I mean, you can just see how much campaign world records are still getting improved after day one. Of course, not the exact same because track of the day is often a bit more simple and a bit different and yeah, but yeah, you know what I mean. I always lose a lot there. I want to go more inside, I think. I want to hit more of the snow, actually, which sounds weird, but... Uh if you hit some more snow, you get uh, more icy tires, and the more icy tires you have, the more uh, the more of a dirt soup you will get there. So if I go more like this, I will get more icy tires, and as you can see, it's overall faster. Maybe some Peppo G for you guys. It's the same as with like when you have icy tires on dirt, you wanna have a higher percentage of icy tires usually. It's faster. It's the same as with uh, wet wheels on wood. If you guys think about that mechanic, the more, the higher percentage of the wet wheels you have, the the less speed you lose in these kind of slides. It's the same as with the stirred ice things. Which is, for example, why in this one, um, on this one track of the day, on the wet wood track of the day we had once, it was faster to wait, to literally wait half a second at the start to get more uh, wet tires. Basically, keep it in your mind, the wetter, the better. Works in Trickmania, works in IRL. A good thing to memorize. Your life coach, Granadi. <laughs> Hydrate, yeah, good idea. Oh, I didn't plug in my, uh, my fridge. Fuck, I need to plug in my Red Bull fridge. Ping. Also, honestly, today is the perfect day for a Red Bull. Not gonna lie. Later on, when the Red Bull is like nice and cold, oh, looking forward to it. That's gonna be nice. Top 10 craziest Minecraft MLG clutches type of beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this song, I have it. Like, we're currently listening to a playlist, to this playlist here. This playlist. I called it awesome. And I made it in 2016, so when I was 15 years old. And this song is probably... Yeah. Quite high up. <laughs> quite early added to the to the song, to the Dings Booms. Awesome. <laughs> By Skilla77. Hello guys! That's me! <laughs> uh, cheapers. Alright. So yeah. Regarding the seating, we're still looking good. 
Nah, that's some that's some even older stuff, Hyru. That is even more old school. I don't think that will make a return. Oh, what ha wait, what happens if I touch the wet? I touched the water there. But I didn't slide out or anything, so it's not that bad. But still, shouldn't do it. Yeah, like that was 0.61 and it felt like the most average run ever. I don't know. This could honestly make a nice tournament map. Like a tournament, like a mixed tournament, which is aimed for, which is like rather beginner level. Of course, I wouldn't want to see this in Team GL, I would snap. Because way too easy. But like in an amateur mixed tournament, kinda. It's not too long. It's pretty nicely drivable. You can still gain time everywhere. Could be cool. Oh god. Yeah, that was a bit risky. Wicked. <laughs> I literally drive a 39.9 with a 360 and the clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I tried to risk it for World WR. Fuck eh. Figgity fuck. Did I play yesterday? Uh, what? Cup of the day? Yes. So if you wanna see my cup of the day POV, like the first cup of the day of this map, I will upload it today in the evening, I think. Wait, someone said streamers wake up this early. Guys, I'm probably the streamer with, with the healthiest, or let's say most normal sleeping schedule like I literally even on a weekend I wake up at 8 a.m. Like I am I have a try hard sleep schedule guys And when I uh, during weekdays I wake up between 7 a.m. and 7 30 a.m. or something like that Hello Tim E. Hello. Hello <laughs> So yeah, I do actually I could play cup of the morning every single day, but the thing is cup of the morning is yeah, not that exciting. Like, the thing that I, by now, like, I'm not the greatest fan of knockouts anymore. Like, knockouts, after after playing them, like, almost daily for three years, knockouts are very repetitive, to be honest. Like, you know, it's always the same. The first two rounds of knockout are always a bit boring. Towards the ending, it gets exciting, but it's also, of course, a bit frustrating because, you know, one mistake can knock you out. But what I really like about Cup of the Days is that you get a new map and you have 15 minutes to be as good as possible. I really like the, the qualifying aspect about Cup of the Day. That's honestly what I enjoy the most about uh, the Cup of the Day format at the moment. If that makes sense. Alright, another point six, yeah. Like point six you can literally casually do. I don't know. I don't know what what changed in comparison to yesterday, but point six is like super doable. I mean yesterday in cup of the day we also had a point four already by Lingo in the cup. So it's not like it's a super impossible time to achieve in rounds. This part here is super important for time attack. You can gain a lot there and lose a lot, of course. Yeah, it's like another 0.5 or 0.6. Yeah, like 0.50, like... Yeah. <laughs> Google. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the dirt gear is illegal? Yeah. Yeah, you can go really inside at the dirt and still keep the gear. I'm pretty sure it's faster than what current world record is doing. I don't know. If you get the, the upper gear perfectly, I think it's faster. I'm actually in the mud in weekends and weekdays. I wake up at 5 a.m. and in weekends I go to bed at 5 a.m. Bro, I could never do that jar grab. I would be so in the mud. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, no, no, no. That's nah. Wouldn't work for me. Yeah, I, I usually, but I'm also not really like a party guy. Like I never, like I of course also meet with friends and sometimes uh, in the weekends, but we're never, it's never getting that late. Like 2 a.m. max or something. Yeah. Happens. Oh. Yeah, hello guys, my name is Ice. <laughs> I basically do 24 hour challenge every Friday. <laughs> Bro, how? It's crazy actually. Yeah, I mean, a 2 is still fine, Pi, but it's like. Yeah. 2 is fine, but after 2, cheapers. Oh, Bestie is also playing. And there are some good players here, for sure. For sure. Wait, Birre is also playing. Birre. Birdie. Birdie type 1. The big guy, boah. <laughs> Wait, is it no KO now or is it... I oh, know, it's first one already, okay. <laughs> Wait, have we already played no KO round? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Get off the small edge there. It can definitely fuck you up in the wrong rounds. Ah, but look, the others are also doing point six. Wait, purple is also playing. Purple, we have a match in uh, forty minutes. Purple A, why not practicing the campaign? I'm really mad, purple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm also playing come of the morning. Start late because of chatting, yeah. Professional. But you gotta say it doesn't only help to practice the maps for a tournament, you also have to practice like the, the tournament feeling. And I'm practicing the tournament feeling together with Purple, my teammate, in Cup of the Morning. And I think that is totally reasonable. Am I right guys? I think that makes absolute sense. I look purple and me, top two. Suck. <laughs> He's also saying, hmm. <laughs> yeah, hello guys. Look at this, Team Germany. Okay, Yami is not playing for Team Germany, but... The Yamans. Who else do we have from Germany? Toyplex. Diclonius. Behemoth. Benny. Boah, Neo Terzel, Sauergurke. Do we have a lot of Germans here? Boah. Until purple beats you. Yeah, possible. I mean, definitely possible. Nobody said that cup, uh, winning cup of the morning is free. The thing is, cup of the morning can be free, but it's not that unlikely that you have like one guy playing against you who is like really practiced on the map and like hunted it for 10 hours or some shit like that. 
Und dann ist suddenly uh, not so easy. Ja, hallo guys, mein Name ist Gear. Okay, we wanted to chill. We wanted to play a different kind of KO this time. Coaster. We wanted to chill a little bit in the beginning. I don't want to waste my focus in the first rounds because then I already then I always lose it or like begin to lose it in the later rounds. What are the streamers doing? Birdie out, Janik out. Hello guys, I'm the last remaining streamer of Division One. Ping. <laughs> also Schmonderiger, thanks for the 30 month free sub. Also. Lebron Jam in the chat because this is a good song. Banger. Do, 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 do. Oh, Fox Stevenson, my goat. I'm alright, I'm okay. Got a private little oasis to, to stay here every day. Like Fox Stevenson's songs actually are goated. You can tell me what you want. I'm still not sure if I like his most recent one. The Lemonade song. I don't know if I don't know if I like it. I'm not sure yet. It's definitely never ever gonna be my favorite song of him. But like, ah, I don't know if I like it. Maybe can someone cue it? If someone wants to waste some points. Q Lemonade by Fox Stevenson. I'm not sure if I... Ah, I didn't like it. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. I only listened to it on stream yet. I maybe need to listen to it, like, privately. <laughs> I think my favorite song of him is uh, Bruce's. I don't know why. Might, al might also be because it was like the first one I heard of him. Bruce's. I also. Uh, Gold Dust is also like Goated. Gold Dust. And uh, the, the Go Like DB remix. Also Goated. Also a couple of others. Also, underrated song is Glue Gun, in my opinion. A bit different, but also a good one. Dreamland is also good, yeah. Dreamland is also nice, of course. I wish he would publish more songs. Lemonade is added to the queue. Good focus. Hobbit is also playing. <laughs> I think Hobbit was like in orange and now in yellow. <laughs> Hello, guys. John C getting Dono Watch? Scheiße. Okay, wait. I'm gonna look at chat after the round. Okay, 53. Noise. Okay, what did John C say? Uh, two months for him to know of a gift sub, I gave fubs. Wait, I said, wait, ah, wait, uh, I saw in the config for song request, you can have the song request bot on different user. So could hide from chat overlay. Uh, yeah, I know actually, I know, yeah, we could do that, but hmm, I don't know. I mean, I could, yeah, yeah. I mean, for chat overlay, it's maybe bad to have. Is it helpful to have the the song request things on chat overlay or not? Would you like to have that? Like the messages, blah blah blah, has been added to the queue. Better to have it in the overlay or not? Because I know of that function, or I knew of it, but I wasn't sure if it's maybe not helpful to see it for like YouTube people. But honestly, it's kind of useless for YouTube people. Because uh, they don't hear the music either way. <laughs> they have different music. Because the YouTube. Have copyright and shit like that. Hmm. Yeah, the thing is the queue is also like spamming the dings kinda. That's true. 
Hmm, but is it like possible to hide messages of certain users only from the overlay? That works? I'm not sure, Iridium is handling the chat overlay things. Yep, okay. Yeah, well done. I could try to set it up. For now, I'm glad that it works at all again. So once again, shout out to you, John C. The funny thing is, one year ago, like roughly one year ago, I set up song requests for the first time. And of course, also there, I ran into issues. It was literally almost exactly a year ago. And who helped me to fix the entire things? Multiple people, but especially John C. <laughs> And now, one year later, I have some different issues again, because I have to reinstall the entire things. Who is there to help? His name is John C. <laughs> the Giga Chat. <laughs> Wait, anything with an exclamation mark is not appearing. Wait, what? <laughs> Ach so, so, so that commands and stuff is not getting shown. Okay. I mean, I could also change the um, the I could also change the message that the bot puts out via my account. For example, the Q message, and I could also just put an exclamation mark there, I guess. And then it would also not show. Would be easier to then to change the entire uh, channel because otherwise I would have to make a new Twitch account and shit like that. Which is of course not too much effort, but if I can avoid it, then why not? <laughs> yeah, hello guys, 45? <laughs> Solid time. <laughs> Almost pp <-beat. laughs> Didn't even focus. Hello. Is the cam forced or do you prefer this view? I prefer this view. I always play like this. It is the most successful camera in Trickmania. Because Carl Jr. is using it. And Karyan for example as well. And also Otak who won the last World Cup. Literally cam free supremacy. Cam free is literally the goated cam. If you want to become a true Giga Chat in the game, you have to use this game. It can be good, of course, but if you strive for more, then this is the camera. So surely I will win next World Cup, right guys? <laughs> oh. Uh oh, I might slide out, I might slide out, I might slide out, I might slide out. I didn't slide out. Yesterday, by the way, after, like, yesterday in Cup of the Day, uh, spoiler alert for those of you that didn't watch it yet. Um, I uh, was also good on the map, and then I had a really, really unfortunate slide out in like, uh, I think the last 4KO round. And it was like a really weird one, like I released at a part where it's in theory usually possible to release, where you don't slide out, but then I slid out shortly after. And I went on analysis mode afterwards, and I even asked uh, Teuflum on my Discord, who's like one of the best ice players. And uh, yeah. I learned a little bit about ice, also watched this one uh, ice video yet, maybe some of you guys have also seen that already, where the, the the myths behind ice slides were getting explained and stuff. Where it was explained when you slide out and when you don't slide out and blah 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 and yeah yeah yeah. And I slid out because I had a really unfortunate angle for like a split second kind of. So yeah, it was kind of unfortunate. And now I'm scared of hitting that again. Yeah, the danger wedge. <laughs> the good old danger wedge. Blah. Blah spec. <sighs> kind of scary because we are in the last 4 KO one now. So exactly the round where I died in normal cover of the day. So, uh, yeah.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this uh, Fox series and so on. It's, it's not terrible or something, but it's like not really appealing. It also doesn't sound as special as his songs uh, usually do. I don't know. Hmm, it's okay, but uh, it's nothing crazy. The blah got appeared, yeah. Something. The F word is unnecessary? I didn't even hear it. <laughs> I didn't pay that much attention. I mean, in general, I don't really pay a lot of attention to the lyrics of a song, to be fair. I mostly pay attention to how it sounds like. Actually, what about you guys? Like, when you listen to songs, do you pay a lot of attention to the lyrics? Or also rather just to what it sounds like in general? Or like both? Or like... How's it for you guys? Oh, uh, if that part would have been better, this could have been PB for sure. Oh god. Yeah, hello guys. Most normal ice slide. <laughs> Monka. Usually sounds, sometimes, sometimes. This is, uh, depends on the genre. I don't listen to lyrics at all. Okay, not at all. More vibing. Just the sound. A lot of my songs aren't English. Yeah. 100% sound vibe. What li what's lyrics? Okay, <laughs> apparently many people are uh, d handling it the same as me. Understandable. I mean, most of my mods are just listening to uns, 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 where the songs don't even have lyrics, so... Makes sense what they would answer. Oh, I had to release. That was so scary. What the fuck? Holy moly, eh? That was scary. Yeah, I mean, if the lyrics are like something giga terrible or like whatever, or like the lyrics are just the, 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 like the singer just screams into my ear, your mama, your mama, your mama. Yeah, then I would also probably not listen to it. But if it's just like some normal song text, then yeah, I just ignore it kind of. So I only notice it when it's like really bad or, you know? <laughs> That makes sense. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Matt is calling, maybe? Yeah. You kinda have to hope on the ending. Please, guys, for the stream. For the stream, guys! For the stream! Yes! <laughs> okay. Ooh. That was a bit scary. I can't lie. Oh, that song is actually good, Nuke World. That song is actually good. I like that one. Uns Uns by Inchi. Good one. Okay, I should not touch at the start anymore. That actually loses quite some time, I noticed. I think now I reached the zone of the KO where I actually have to focus. I'm gonna do a little bit less random talking during the rounds. Bruce's banger. Uh, oh yeah, that is my jam. No, Yami's out. F. We lost the German. We still have a German though. Never mind. I'm the last German. Okay. Oops. Where did all of my Germans go? F. 
been a minute since I tasted blood. I forgot how good this was. Fucked up world. Can't you see the fun in that? Oh god, where am I going? Yeah. Okay, rounds are getting a bit slower overall. Everybody is saving now. Bubsy fights out. Bubsy was also fast. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Lower gear. Pace is getting slower overall. Wait, Dennis is also playing. <laughs> Dennis also one of my opponents coming up in the TSCC. He's playing for Netherlands too. We will play against Dennis in literally 20 minutes in the official match. <laughs> so like, like everybody's playing Call of the Morning. Interesting. Okay, top five. Doing something stupid. Okay, 1.6 behind. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Ba da da da. Tough decision for a Dutch viewer of who to support. Oh yeah, that's a... Uh, you can cheer for both, Jindral. If you cheer for both, you will be happy either way. That's the, that's the, that's the big brain move. Yeah, Jordan, uh, we might need the, uh, we might meet, uh, we might meet each other later on. Wait, but Jordan, you're in the Dutch one team, right? Not two. That's more on here. Yeah, not optimal. Okay, Dennis fucked up a little bit. Woo! The no slide abuse, guys. The no slide abuse saved me. Might still win the round with a touch if the others have bad endings. Yeah, hello, guys! That was a close round, actually. Holy moly. Okay, all good guys, all good. What is the song that I have to listen to in the final two rounds? What in the Black Eyed Peas uh, cover version of this is this? And bonus point five grand. And both failed. Okay. As also, I play against two people that I don't know. So all of the known uh, Cup of the Morning Andes uh, already died. All right, GL. I play against try hard noobs from this country. What flag is that? C 
Singapore. Okay. Yeah, I would have also set my lies here. I would have also set my lies here. But yeah. Okay, final. Nice. All right, clean cup of the morning, guys. I finally won a knockout again. It's been one year. I mean, it only was cup of the morning, okay. But I, I officially defeated my knockout bane. So I'm now ready for Maji Monday, Kobium. <laughs> All right, GG though. He had a solid round. Wasn't uh, wasn't a free win. Wasn't a free win. So GG to the, to the tryhard.